let's move to pressing. Pressing is also the opposite of what it should be. Like I say, the size of opposite of everything. Right, ceiling is actually on top. However, in price ceiling, it's actually below. It's actually below a current price. Do note that price ceiling is actually used to protect. the consumers this time right so the most popular example recently which is not very recent at night during March 2020 when there's a lockdown suddenly the face mask increased price by a lot due to shortage right what the government do is when the government felt that the goods or services is a necessity for the consumers, that's why it's used to protect consumers, they will start to impose a maximum price. Maximum price is also known as the price setting. It's basically below the equivalent price. Right? Initially, I remember the three ply in retail price can sell for 150 and 280 ringgit. But due to it suddenly become a necessity, to everyone in the world, the government started to regulate the shit surgical mask for three ply and two ply and one ply and so on. Right? They started to reduce the price or set a regulation to decrease the price to 100 instead of 150. What this means is now it became cheaper. Right? So this demand is supply and this is initially the face mask. The three ply is in selling for 180. But because the government wanted everyone to buy, so they decided to put a price ceiling at 100. So this is considered price maximum or price ceiling. And this is the more proper diagram. I use housing rent market, for example, in here. You will notice that once we have a price ceiling, the price ceiling touching the demand curve is known as the QD. Price ceiling touching the supply curve is known as QS. Now QD is greater than QS, and it will lead to shortages. This is also the direct effect right you must also draw this in your manual I will check later I give you a few seconds obviously I am now going to use back the housing land market because it's more interesting compared to the face mask. So, when there is a cheaper price, cheaper than equivalent price, suddenly everyone wants to buy that stuff, right? For example, housing land market in near Sunway. Just imagine, initially, our equivalent price, actually not initially, it's actually the real price near Sunway for students per room is 1,000 ringgit per month for just one room then the government noticed that the government felt that some students are poor yeah right so the government felt like they need to bring down the price so what they do they, they reduce the price and impose a price setting to 300 ringgit per month. Suddenly, every students that live farther away, they want to move nearer to Sunway because it's now cheaper. However, as a condo owner, as a supplier, do you think 
how many of you think that we actually want to supply more units for rent? Type in one if it's you, and type in two if it's not you. I will check the comments later. And you're right. We don't want to supply the units because chances are the students might throw a party. You know, it will be throwing some tissue, toilet paper on the mirror and ruin all the furnitures and the rent cannot cover the maintenance cost and the damage is so huge. So my us, I don't want to rent it, right? So the quantity supply reduced by a lot, actually, and the quantity demanded increased by a lot. This lead to the surpluses, right? Because it's no longer so profitable, actually, not only for housing rent market, but for others as well. So it will lead to some surpluses. So, I will still share with you how do we write a direct effect. Referring back to the diagram, the equivalent price for housing rent is PE, equivalent quantity is QE. Right? Referring to here, you can see that my PE is 180, my QE is something that I did not label. Notice that in here, PE and QE is no longer so important for labels. Right. What we want to find out is actually whether you know where to draw the maximum price and QD and QS or not. However, the government feel that housing rents is too expensive for citizens. So the government imposed a maximum price. Right? So the government imposed a maximum price. And this maximum price lead to the housing rent become cheaper. No, normal people can afford to rent a house. But this create another problem, which is the shortage problem. This means that quantity the consumer, quantity demanded, I just change it to another way, quantity that the consumers want to demand is more than what the firms want to supply. Hence, shortage. More importantly is the indirect effects. Right. One of the indirect effects you can see is because of the shortage, there will be long queue, right? How many of you actually like been through a government clinic? You go go to a government clinic before, right? Type in yes in the comments in the YouTube comments if you've been to a government clinic. And type in no, and if you type no, why you don't want to go to the government clinic? So imagine this is the government medicine or clinic service, medical service, something. They set the price too low. How many of you actually know what's the price for seeing a doctor and getting the medicine, which is not a low quality medicine? It's actually just one ringgit, right? Because of this one ringgit, that if you go to private hospital or you just buy it from pharmacy, the equivalent price is that high. 30 to 40 on average or more. some can cost you a few hundreds, right? So, it creates a very huge shortage. And if you happen to be visiting a government clinic, which I say we are blessed because we have this heavily subsidized or very, very low price. We have to wait for a long time, right? Two to three hours. If you just want to look at a nurse and just want to find a nurse, maybe three, three, four hours if you want to see a doctor, right? Also depends on which type of doctor you want to look for. So this is a long view, right? And this is mostly used for most planned economy. Government control a lot of the products, the staple products, right? Not only for that housing rent, not only for medicine, but also for education, for rice, 
for salt, for sugar, for all these petrols and all these necessities as well, right? And because of that, they always have this problem of long queues. One method or one solution government can do is again using quota rationing means one consumer can only buy one box, one packet, one liter example, right? In fact, we also have quota system in Malaysia for cooking oil. There was once where one consumer can only buy two 5 liter cooking oil because it's heavily subsidized. Right? This is how they solve the long queue problem. Right? Another indirect effect is underground market again. You can see that regardless of the price floor or price ceiling, we will have this underground market problem because there will be there will always be someone that's not willing to wait that a high income group they're not willing to wait i earn billions do you expect me to stand in a queue where should i put my face do you get me? Why should I put my face? What if the reporter showed that I'm waiting for bread? Oh my god! So what should they do? Right? They are willing to pay higher. Right? Another typical thing in Malaysia can be the organs. Right? In fact, we are very famous for organ of human trafficking right so just imagine this is whatever organ that you want if you don't know it's organ obviously it's not a musical instrument that i'm talking about i'm talking about the liver the intestines right? your eyes your nose all these organs right good thing is you will be in waiting list if you happen to be a millionaire a billionaire your grandmother falls sick, right? And you have to be in the waiting list? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What if they pass away? Where should you put your face? So what do you do? They buy organs from the illegal market. Where should they buy? Obviously, they will buy higher than the maximum price and lower than the current price otherwise it doesn't make sense right they are willing to pay more and similar to the suppliers of organs the mafia the gangsters the underground market they're willing to supply obviously otherwise why do they even want to cut off people to get an organ in the first place if it's not higher than the regulated price right there are also medicine that is lost in the government clinic because they sell it to individuals, right? Another example recently is the COVID-19 vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine, a lot of the nurse or the assistants, they injected an empty jab in our body. Then they take the real one and sell it to the illegal market. They sell it to the factories, the private firms, that take care of the expatriates or take care of the authority the higher higher ranking employees or or even the employers itself right so this is all the legal market in fact don't think that housing don't have illegal market right in hong kong oops sorry i was updating In Hong Kong, we have one known as the Coffin House. Right, this is how they live. This is, how, this is their entire room, their living room. They can only afford to rent this space. Right, no way, the kitchen, their bedroom, their study room, everything. And this can be their toilet together with the kitchen. 
known as the coffin house and there are too many illegal coffin house in the Hong Kong that the Hong Kong government have no idea how to solve this problem right because why because the current price is too expensive in Hong Kong the rent is too expensive right they have the five figures rent to pay that many cannot afford if they are just working part-time or they just have a normal job right so what they do they have to survive they have to have a shelter so they rent this illegal house so there's a demand there's a supply and this this to this illegal market in japan this there's a borderline is not considered illegal yet we have the japanese Cyber Cafe Home as well. I can't remember what the exact term they use. Right. It's known as the Yeah. They find sleep and shelter in cyber cafes because in in Japan the cyber cafe has this 24 hour room that you can use if there's a computer inside then most of them they cannot afford to live in normal housing anymore so what they do they just stay inside right they just stay inside so okay, okay. right hmm. Hmm. I don't know is it right but anyway you you get the idea so they will put all their shoes outside right put it all their shoes outside and then they will share the sub cafe bathroom and then they will, they can even order food from the counter itself and then they just see that yeah this is what I meant right the the entire room is this really cool but some people stay overnight just to play games and now it became their bedroom right so it's that that pity right so i already gave you many examples on that maximum price hopefully you can use one or two or hopefully it resonates with you right direct indirect and last part is about the solutions for the shortage again government when they see there's a problem they give a solution but this solution will create another problem that's why government is always there right for this one it will be the opposite right it will be opposite mm, which one should I use right they can either increase the supply or discourage the demand to close the gap right to close the shortage so they can be seen here increase supply first method of English supply is to give subsidies giving subsidies as you may or may not know subsidies will uh, influence the supply curve it will shift the supply curve to the right as for housing rent they might give subsidies to the owners to provide more housing right another example in Malaysia is they give developers a land right so the developers they can charge a lower housing this is not about rent but the housing market the property market to the first time home buyers right so they give this land to the developers straight away and then this concerns subsidies second it can be releasing super stocks maybe they accumulate a lot of stocks when they were imposing the minimum price previously right or uh, they confiscate a lot of products for those who do illegal activities now this 
they have this warehouse, then they start to release the stocks. Obviously not the agriculture products because it may be already having maggots inside. It's more like towards the rice, that's something that can be kept for a long time. Right? They just release something that they previously accumulated from their where government warehouse. The third thing that they can do is to directly increase output. Right? Directly increase output. Other than giving this land to the property developers, right? They also build their own, but they still ask the developer to help them to build the, the Prima House in Malaysia, right? PR one ME, right? They ask the developer to help to build, then they also in, try to increase. Or for the normal commodities, it will be they will have to build their own factories to manufacture. Roma, Selangoku, oops, right, all these different housing for people. This one is for first time home buyer, right? So there are, there are many, many type of different ways to solve the inefficiency. Alternatively, they can actually choose to discourage demand. Now, they will ask the consumers to consume substitutes. Right? Instead of renting the house, why don't you buy the house? Instead of eating white rice, why don't you eat brown rice? Because brown rice is healthier. Wouldn't you agree? So, it will discourage the demand for rice. What's about? Right? Instead of... Nah, organ is too much. <laughs> Not going to use okay. Instead of government clinic, maybe you can try private clinic if you can afford, right? Instead of pumping round 95 petrol, those who are rich, you should pump round 97 is better for a car, right? There are many ways to try to discourage them from consuming something that they subsidize or they charge many maximum price for, right? Just ask them to consume the substitutes. Right. If you have any question, remember to type in YouTube comment. I would be more willing to answer. And I, in fact, you know what? I will want to check the comments later. I will see who never participate. Then you know. Alright, other intentions of maximum price are like they just sometimes it's not about they want to protect the consumer, they just want to maintain the affordability. Also, still for the consumers, right? They don't like the price to be too expensive. That when there's a monopoly controlling the price of water, electricity, then everyone can afford, right? Not only foods but goods and services. Second thing, sometimes. Due to some macro factors like inflation, the price will be volatile, it will be gouging, going up and down, up and down, right? So, they might want to preempt price gouging during shortages and also slow down inflation. This will be covered in macroeconomics. The main thing is, the main concept or to sum up, regardless of maximum price or minimum price, it will still lead to inefficiency. The problems are regardless of how the government want to do this, it is still not efficient in the end. In fact, Milton Freeman, which is the Nobel Prize economic winner, this is Milton Friedman, Friedman. He said, right, Milton Friedman said, right. We economists don't know much, but we do know how to create a shortage. If you want to create a shortage of tomatoes, for example, this is the law that retailers cannot sell tomatoes for more than two cents per pound, instantly you will have a tomato shortage. It's the same for all the other products, oil or gas and other products. So the government is currently creating a shortage. We have a labor shortage problem. No. That's more towards the labor. Right. We have the shortage problem, we have the chicken shortage problem, and we have so many commodities that's having a shortage problem. 
due to government simply pass a law right this can tell that government is actually not very efficient right i purposely shorten my recording this is considered two two recordings which around which is around half hour eight so that you still can pay attention and not losing focus i'll see you next time here is Corbin on maiden signing off Ciao.